So over the last few days, you've done a lot of talking about different shapes and shape properties and classifying shapes. Well, today it's quite a different challenge and it's another enriched task. And it's about being able to visualize different, how you can make bigger, different shapes using uh, four triangles. So I'm really looking forward to see how you get on with that. First of all, I must hand you over to our new co-host. Hi Gareth, my name is Lowen Jones and I'm in year five and here's your homework. So over here we've got um, three different types of food and see which one is the odd one out. So pause the video. Here are some of the differences. These two have a ring pull and this one doesn't. These two have tomato sauce in them, but um, this does not. Um, this one is planted from the ground and these two are not. And seeing the obvious, this one is bigger than these two and this one is the smaller one. Thank you for watching my video, Gary. Well, after that most spectacular start, Erin's going to move us forward. So have a look at these three examples. Which shape could be the odd one out? Pause the video and have a go. Well, I'll tell you what I went for. I went for, it could be shape A because all the angles are obtuse. It could be shape B because every line has a, has, is one of a pair of parallel lines here. So this line is parallel to this one. This line is parallel to this one and so on. No, actually, it could be shape C because shape C, the sides are different lengths, whereas all the sides are the same for shape A and for shape B. That's what I went for there. Um, and let's have a look at this one. Ewan, thank you, Ewan. Love these examples. Pause the video. How could each shape be the odd one out? Well, Ewan, I'm going to tell you what I went for. I went for shape A could be the odd one out because it's an octagon. It's got eight sides. The other shapes are quadrilaterals. They've got four sides. Now, actually, shape B could be the odd one out because all its sides are the same length. No, actually, it could be shape C because it hasn't got any lines of symmetry, whereas shape A and shape B, they do have at least one line of symmetry. Thank you again for all of the wonderful, wonderful examples. We've done some great thinking so far this week, reasoning around shape, and the four triangles challenge is going to be the perfect way to finish. Uh, there's so much thinking here, it's really enjoyable, you can play around with different ways of seeing shapes. Um, the four triangles challenge. Okay, so um, the challenge is this. You're going to have to make different shapes using four isosceles right angle triangles. And I can show you where you can find some in a moment to cut them out. Um, but the, the rule is this that each triangle on in your of the four triangles in your shape must be joined to another matching length side of another triangle okay so if you have a look at this example here then we've got four triangles and each of the triangles is has got another matching length side that it's joined to so this is an example and this shape is another example using four triangles now, what I want you to do is pause the video. What's wrong with the triangles at the bottom? See if you can see, why do they not meet the rule? Okay, now the reason they don't meet the rule is, um, well, the one on the, on the bottom right is easier, I think. The one on the bottom right, because there are three triangles, not four. But what's wrong with this one? It's a shape and there's four triangles. Well, have a look at this length here on the bottom triangle. That, it, that length there is not matched to another of the same length. Can you see those parts of those triangles are different lengths than this part here? Okay. Now, to get your triangles, click on the blue link that is underneath the video and you'll find a grid with loads of different triangles that you can just cut out. So you can get a whole load of triangles. Okay, now what I want you to do is pause the video for now. I'm going to add something in a moment, another instruction in a moment, but just pause the video and see if you can start making some different shapes that fit that rule. Okay, now I hope you've managed to play around and, and find some different shapes and, and, um, and you've made a start. Um, now let me show you some examples. So, so here are, I wonder if you found any of those examples. So, so, so they are four possible examples. 
Um, now, at the link underneath this video, there are very many examples, and you'll be able to have a look at all the different ones that I could find, okay? Um, but your task now is to explore the four triangles challenge and have a think about this as well. Is it possible to make a large triangle using four smaller triangles? A rectangle? Can you make a rectangle? Is it possible to make a square? Now, explore those challenges. Now, when you've done that and you found all the different shapes you think you could make, maybe have a look at the examples of all the shapes that I made. Did you find all of, find all of those? Did you find any different ones? I would love to hear how you get on. Um, enjoy. It's a really, really wonderful thing to explore. I'm going to see you next week.